Hello dear students, I'm Pratima. I welcome you all to this video. So today we are solving another case study question based on class 12 CBSC equation to a plane three dimensional geometry. So as I told earlier, if you read the question very mindfully, the question is on your screen. Let us read it. The equation of motion of a missile r x equal to 3 times of t, y is equal to minus 4 times of t, z is equal to t, where t is given in second and the distance measured in kilometer. Based on above, you have to answer the following. So what is the path of a missile's, missile's straight line, parabola, circle, ellipse? Second question is, which of the following points lie on the path of the missile? 6, 8, 2, 6, minus 8, minus 2, 6, minus 8, 2, and minus six minus eight two. Third question is at what distance will the rocket be from starting point zero 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 in five seconds? Square root 550, square root 650 kilometers, square root 450 kilometers, square root 750 kilometers. If the position of the rocket is certain instead of time is five minus eight, 10, then what will the height of the rocket from the ground? The ground is considered as XYE plane, 12 kilometer, 11 kilometer, 20 kilometer, 10 kilometer. And fifth question is, at a certain instant of time, the missile is above sea level, where the equation of the surface of the sea is 2x plus ye plus 3z is 1, and the position of the missile at this instant time is 1, 1, 2. Then the image of the position of the rocket in the sea is Four options are given, minus 9 upon 7, minus 1 upon 7, minus 10 upon 7, 9 upon 7, minus 1 upon 7, minus 10 upon 7, minus 9 upon 7, 1 upon 7, minus 10 upon 7, minus 9 upon 7, minus 1 upon 7, 10 upon 7. So we'll go one by one. First is x is equal to 3 times of t, y is equal to minus four times of t, z is equal to four times of t. That means x and y and z are all the functions of the t. So it is equation to a straight line. A is correct answer. Which of the following points lie on the path of the missile? Which, which point satisfy this equation? So if I'll check six, x is equal to six, that means t should be equal for each cases. So my three minus four and one. You have to see whose ratio corresponding to this. So it will be six minus eight minus two, no. Six, eight, two, no, because y is negative. So six, eight, two will be the answer. Six minus eight, two. The multiple of 3, 2 times is 6, minus 4, 2 times is minus 8, 1 times is 2. So, 6 minus 8, 2 is the answer. C is answer of this question. At what distance will the rocket be from 0, 0, 0 in 5 seconds? So, t is equal to 5. So, when t is equal to 5, x is equal to 3 times of t, means 15. y is equal to minus 4 times of t, that means minus 12. And z is equal to t, that means it will be 5. So the distance from 0, 0, 0 will be same as your x square plus y square plus z whole square. So it will be 15 square plus minus 20 square is same as 20 square and 5 square square root. So 15 square is 225 plus 400 plus 25. So you can find the answer now. It will be certainly square root 650 kilometer. So C is answer of this question. C, not D, C. Now coming to fourth part. If the position of the rocket at a certain instant of the time is 5 minus 10, then what will the height of the rocket from the ground? The ground is considered to XYE plane. So it is XYE plane, the distance is equal to 5 minus 8 and 10, 
and this is your x y plane so what is the height of this point it will be nothing but your 10 kilometer because in x y plane this 5 8 this coordinate will remain same only 10 is the difference so 10 minus 0 whole square on the root is equal to 10 kilometers so d is answer in x y plane only you will consider the z coordinate question number five of course this is a very important question at a certain instant of time if the missile is above the sea level where the equation of the surface of the sea is given by 2x plus y plus 3z is 1 and the position of the missile is at distance at instant of time 1 1 2 then what is the image of position of the rocket in the sea so we can imagine the c is equal to your denoted by sea level is denoted by 2x plus y plus 3z is equal to 1 and the point is 1 1 2 this is your p we need the image p dash or this point is abc we need the image in the sea that means the distance pq is same as p dash pq because you know that image is formed at equal distance so what i'll do first i'll find the coordinate of q this we call foot of perpendicular so i'll write let foot of perpendicular from p on plane is x y z so need no need of writing all the answers in explanatory way because you have to only find the answer so no need to waste time but i'm typing to make you understand so the direction ratios of pq will be what it will be x minus 1 y minus 1 and z minus 2 so pq is parallel to the normal what is the normal normal of this plane will be has the direction ratio 2 1 and 3 so since they are parallel pq is parallel to n so their direction ratios are proportional. So I'll write x minus 2 upon 2 is equal to y up to minus 1 upon 1 is equal to z minus 2 upon 3, that will be lambda. Then I'll get x is equal to 2 lambda, y is equal to 2 lambda plus 1, y is equal to lambda plus 1, z is equal to 3 lambda plus 2. So this is your foot of the perpendicular i'll get the value of lambda how to get it this point x y z is on the plane what is the plane 2x plus 3y plus 1 is 3 3z is equal to 1 so i'll put in this equation the value of x y z in term of lambda so i'll write 2 what is x 2 lambda plus 1 then 1 into y is equal to lambda plus 1 plus 3 into j 3 lambda plus 2 is equal to your 1. If we solve it, you will get this gives you lambda is equal to minus 4 by 7. After getting this lambda, we will go for x, y, z. Okay. So, x will be if we'll put in x, x will be 2 lambda plus 1 is equal to minus 1 by 7. y is equal to, if we'll solve it, it will be 3 by 7. And z will be here again 2 by 7. So x is equal to this point is minus 1 by 7. 3 by 7 and 2 by 7. So once you got this foot of the perpendicular, you can get image because foot of the perpendicular is 
midpoint of P and P dash. So now I am writing to get A, B, C what the image. So I am writing here image is equal to let the image be A, B, C. So I am applying the midpoint formula. So A plus 1 by 2 is equal to minus 1 by 7. Then A will be how much? A will be your minus 9 by 7. Similarly, for B, I'll write B plus 1 by 2 is equal to 3 by 7. This gives me B is equal to B is equal to how much? Minus 1 by 7. B is equal to 3 by 7. It will be 6 by 7 minus 1. So minus 1 by 7. Then I'll go for C. C plus 2 by 2 is equal to again. What was the point? 2 by 7. So this gives me C is equal to 4 by 7 minus 2. That will be your minus 10 by 7. C is equal to minus. C is equal to, well, I'll write C is equal to minus 10 by 7. So the image points are minus 9 by 7, minus 1 by 7, and minus 10 by 7. So C is answer of this question. No. B is answer of this question. All are negative. So A is answer of this question. I go here and that A B is minus seven C is minus three. So okay. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing.